uh, for this particular character, we're going to do, she has some pretty gnarly teeth, so what we're going to do is take impressions of Cynthia's teeth and create the dentures that will then complete the look of the character. We have uh, several size dental trays here. There's a lot of dental supply places that you can get these from. And uh, the first thing you want to do is fit them in the model's mouth to make sure they're not going to choke or it's not uncomfortable. So I'm going to start with the, um, with the uppers. Is that relatively comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're not going to choke or anything? No. Okay. And what we're going to do is mix up some more alginate, only it's going to be a dental grade alginate. It's going to set up a little quicker. And um, this is what dentists use to take impressions of the teeth. And a lot of these alginates are flavored as well. So it's not such a horrible experience. There's other materials you can take impressions with. There's various dental silicones and things. Those get a little pricey, but we're gonna do this old school. The important part about uh, doing dental casts is getting all the information. You want the gum line, you wanna make sure you have as much information as you can to create the dentures. So it's a, we do it a little different than some dentists need, than some dentists do. Uh, this is, this is a, a product that is uh, similar to the, the life casting alginate that you can add water to if it's a little thick or, uh, you know, you can, um, it, it's not like the plastic. Like when, when Cleve was mixing the Hydrocal, we cannot add more water after it's already been mixed. If you've mixed it too thick, you're kind of stuck. Another thing to keep in mind when you're doing any type of dental impressions or, or things of that nature is to make sure, ask your model, do they have any type of veneers or bonding? I mean, it's always uh, important to know if there is real dental work in there, and, and that may want to uh, choose your decision whether or not you actually go through with this. You want to make sure that it's, there's, there's nothing that could be affected by the impression material, like a, a good note, a good precautionary note to have. This is an eyeball thing. You can do, there's like a little scooper in there. You can do a scoop of alginate to water. Okay, Cynthia, hold your teeth, the uh, lips out again for me. bite down and then pull your lip over the top. There you go. <laughs> Once the alginate uh, has set, you're going to take the tray and you're going to give it a little twist. Sometimes it's good to have your model do it to give a little twist and you'll feel the suction break. Let's see. Yeah, we have a very good cast. And that's the impression of her teeth. And we have the, all the gum line and all the, I don't have to do a good model. Are you all right? Sometimes when you do this, some people's uh, gums bleed. Um, and you just you, know, you can have a little cup of hydrogen peroxide standing by when that happens. That happens. That's happened to me once or twice as well. So. We're gonna pour a, a type of dental stone. This is called dikene. Uh, it's a very hard, uh, very accurate uh, plaster, essentially. And what we're gonna do is mix it like we did the hydrocal, and then we're gonna pour it in the negative and that'll create a positive model. See how the material's moving and how it'll uh, work its way into all the details. All right, so we're gonna start the lowers now. And even if you're doing uh, dentures just, I mean, not, it looks like we're gonna do both sets here, but even if you're doing dentures for the uppers, it's important to get both teeth. You'll typically see two trays. This one is for uppers. This one is for lowers. You want this one for the lowers to make room for the tongue. So that's a good way to, you want the roof of the mouth and then you want an area for the tongue. So that's a good thing, not uppers, lowers. So we've already fit the lowers in Cynthia's mouth. These will work good. And we're gonna start mixing the alginate. Get a, okay, Cynthia, same deal. Wide. All right, so we're gonna do a 
quick little idea. Sometimes the, the model can do it where you just do a twist. There we go. Thank you. Nice. And we have a nice cast of the, uh, of the lower teeth. I'm taking a brush right now and I'm actually poking the, uh, the daikin in, especially in the front lowers. I mean, those are very thin and you want to make sure that you, you get as much detail, you get all the detail. Uh, for when we put these two together, you want to ensure that you have a good bite. Make sure you have a good build up too on these because this will probably get sunk in a base. And you want to make sure that you have enough uh, material that you're not going to lose any uh, gum line or any of the teeth. So you want to build it up a little bit higher. And again, you can always carve down. When time comes, I'll let that set a little bit more. And just again, just very carefully peel away. And there's our girl's teeth. So you can see too, we got all the, the the gum information, the little muscle that's like right between the teeth, that's all important to have because uh, you got to account for that when you do your sculpture. And that'll, that'll sink in the base like so. And we'll get this out of the way. And you also want to be aware that you don't want to do anything that's going to you know, pry or, or put any stress on it because it is very easy, especially with the lowers, to just uh, chop the teeth off bust the teeth off. And you'll see too, like the hand cast, um, we got uh, fantastic detail. Uh, Cynthia has a permanent retainer on her lower teeth, which didn't affect the cast. But if you look, you can see we got all that information as well, which is important if we're going to make a, a, a dentures for her, you have to take that into account that there is a, a bridge there.